So in section 4.8, solving fractional equations, I have 5 thirds y equals 1 6. So I want to find the value y such that 5 thirds times that value y will equal 1 6. So my goal is to get the y alone on the left side of the equation. So to eliminate this coefficient, I'm going to use division and I will divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient 5 thirds. So 5 thirds divided by 5 thirds is 1, and 1y one is just y. And on the right side of the equation, I'm going to do 1 6 divided by 5 thirds. You can put it into your calculator, but if you're doing it by hand, you're going to do 1 6 times the reciprocal, which is 3 fifths. And here I'll divide out a common factor, and I'm left with my solution, y equals 1 tenth. And make sure you go back and you plug your solution into your original equation. So 5 thirds multiplied by 1 tenth will equal 1 sixth. In problem number two, again, I'm eliminating a fractional coefficient. So we're going to divide by the coefficient, which is negative 5 twelfths. Don't change the sign. Negative 5 twelfths divided by itself is 1, and 1c is just plain c. And we're going to take the numerator, negative 10, and divide it by negative 5 twelfths. So negative 10 divided by negative 5 twelfths. I'm going to keep the first fraction, change to multiplication, flip the second fraction. Here I'll divide out a common factor, and I end up with positive 24. So my solution, C equals 24. In number three, I have T divided by 6 equals 5 twelfths. So since they divided by 6, I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 6. And so I have T equals 5 halves. Problem number 4. This time I want to eliminate a constant. So to eliminate a constant, we use addition or subtraction. So I have z plus 2 fifths equals 1 fourth. I want the z alone. To get rid of the 2 fifths, I'm going to subtract 2 fifths from both sides of this equation. So I have z equals, and then I'm going to do 1 fourth minus 2 fifths. You can put it in your calculator. If doing it by hand, we're going to get a common denominator, which is 20. So I have 5 twentieths minus 8 twentieths, which is negative 3 twentieths. Problem number five. This time it's a two-step equation. I want the x alone. I'm going to get rid of the constant by addition or subtraction, and then multiplication or division to eliminate the coefficient. So in this case, I'm going to begin by eliminating negative one-third by adding one-third on both sides of this equation. So I have 2 ninths x. Now 5 ninths plus one-third. I'll change this to 5 ninths plus 3 ninths, which gives me 8 ninths. And for my last step, to eliminate this coefficient, 2 ninths, I use division. And I divide both sides of this equation by 2 ninths. So I have x equals and now it's 8 ninths 
divided by 2 ninths. So 8 ninths divided by 2 ninths. Again, if I'm doing it by hand, it's 8 ninths times 9 halves. And my 9's cancel, and I'm left here with 4. So x equals 4 is my solution. Again, you can plug it back in, take 2 ninths times 4, and subtract your constant, which was 1 third, to make sure you get 5 ninths. Now, finally, I have a three-step equation, and it's going to take three steps to solve this equation because I have variable amounts on both sides of the equation. So I like to start with this smaller variable amount, negative 3c. So I'm going to add 3c plus 3c plus 3c on both sides of this equation. So I have 5, 6c plus 3. And I'm going to change 3 to 18, 6. So when I combine those, I have 23, 6, C minus 5 twelfths is equal to 1 half. So now it's going to take two more steps to solve. I want the C alone, so first I'm going to eliminate the 5 twelfths by adding 5 twelfths to both sides of this equation. So again, I have 23 6 C equals, so I need a common denominator, so I have 6 twelfths plus 5 twelfths, which is 11 twelfths. And my last step is to divide by the coefficient. So I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by the coefficient. So C is going to equal 11 twelfths divided by 23 six. So 11 twelfths divided by 23 six is 11 twelfths times 6 23rds. So multiplying across the top and across the bottom my solution C is equal to 1146. Again, you can check that by plugging 1146 in for C on both sides of this equation and make sure we get the same quantities on both sides.